Tales of the Narrow Gauge, Episode 9, Renaeus' Unhappy Halloween. It was the day before Halloween on the island of Sodor. All of the narrow gauge engines were very excited. All that were except for Renaeus. Every year the little engines gathered at the depot to tell scary stories. This year, said Sir Handel, I have a really scary one. It'll make your wheel shudder. I bet it won't, laughed Peter Sam. Mine will, though. I've been thinking of it for months. It'll be the best you've ever heard. Oh, be quiet, interrupted Renaeus. I don't know why we have to do this silly tradition each year. It's just annoying and I don't like it. Sounds like someone's scared, taunted Sir Handel. We only do it for a bit of fun. Besides, added Peter Sam, it's only for one night of the whole year. It's not like it makes that much of a difference. If it doesn't make that much of a difference, snapped Renaeus, then why do we just not do it this year? I thought the point of ghost stories was that they were meant to be scary because they could actually be true. But your stories get more and more unbelievable each year that there's no way that any of it could be real. This gave Sir Handel and Peter Sam an idea. Later that day when all the work had been done... Sir Handel and Peter Sam were the first engines back to the depot. They used this time to explain the plan to their drivers, who agreed. We'll have to make sure all the signalmen know what we're doing though, and we'll have to check with the thin controller, but I shouldn't think that there would be a problem. The next day, Sir Handel was at the top station when Peter Sam pulled in. My driver and fireman spoke to the thin controller, he said. And apparently, he said that it was fine for us to play our trick, providing that Renaeus' driver and fireman know what we're doing. No trouble at all, replied Sir Handel. My driver and fireman have already spoken to Renaeus' crew, and they said that our trick sounded like a lot of fun, so they're going to go along with it. Just then, Orville pulled in. This gave Sir Handel an idea. Orville, said Sir Handel, will you do something for us? Um, yes, said Orville. I think I can do that. Shouldn't be any trouble at all. OK, then, said Peter Sam. Tonight, then. Yes, the others agreed. It was getting dark by the time Renaeus pulled the last train into the station. He was uncoupled and then went away to the depot. A few minutes passed and then Peter Sam arrived and shunted the coaches away. Then Sir Handel arrived with a long train of trucks that he left at the platform. Then he left. It was dark when Orville arrived at the depot. Quickly, he shouted, there have been some trucks that have been left at Croven's Gate. Someone needs to fetch them immediately. We'll do it, said Renaeus's driver. Renaeus didn't particularly want to go and fetch the trucks. Then he thought that it was a better option than having to stay at the depot and listen to the scary stories, so he left. Renaeus soon arrived at Croven's Gate and was coupled up to the trucks. Then Renaeus set off into the night. The points diverted him onto the track to the quarry. At least I'm going the right way, he thought. Renaeus was approaching a tunnel. He didn't see Sir Handel standing silently on a siding. Peter Sam was waiting at the far end. Renaeus entered the pitch black tunnel. Renaeus could make out some kind of blockage at the far end of the tunnel, but he couldn't tell that it was Peter Sam. He stopped just before he reached it. Who's there? he shouted. Peter Sam remained silent. Renaeus felt a little nervous. So he decided to leave the tunnel. He began to move back when all of a sudden, he stopped. Sir Handel had left his siding and was now stopping Renaeus from coming out the tunnel backwards. <laughs> Help! shouted Renaeus. It's the ghost engine. They've trapped me in the tunnel. Sir Handel and Peter Sam, he whimpered. They were right. They were right. There are ghost engines. Get me out. Get me out now, he shouted, and he rushed forwards, bumping into the back of Peter Sam. OK, Renaeus, said Peter Sam. Calm down. It was only a little joke, said Sir Handel. Renaeus's driver and fireman got out of the cab and they turned their torch on. 
Well, what do you think of Halloween now, Anais? They said. What? Uh, a joke? How can that be? It was the ghost, the ghost engines. They, they'd got me. They've trapped me. No, we hadn't, said Peter Sam, reversing backwards. It was just us. Sounds like we gave you a fright, laughed Sir Handel. Do you know what I think, asked Renaeus with a slight tone of annoyance in his voice. I think that next year we should all just do something sensible, like staying at the depot and telling ghost stories. Happy Halloween, Renaeus, laughed Peter, Sam and Sir Handel together.